Well, 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 after days of staying away, it's time to head back in. Let's see what we find. So I try to get a pretty good camera angle here, but uh, the uh, bar of the cart got in the way. So uh, still kind of a cool angle. I'll work on it. Okay, so nothing great today. Right after that clip, I headed to the shirts. Maybe that would bring me some luck to do some collar watching, which I like to do. Uh, just to skim through the shirts a little bit more accurately. And in this case, I couldn't even uh, show you guys on the camera because I didn't find anything today in the t-shirts. Over here, looking in the men's long sleeves. We are not doing that great today, but I come across this button down, button up. $6.99 and it is half off today at Prana. They don't sell fast for me, but with summer, maybe that'll do good. We will see. Okay, so today's obviously not that great. I'm looking at the hoodies and jackets. Found the foot joy, dry joy. I'm like, okay, I could give it a chance. It has this embroidery. Oh my gosh, 18 and it's got some massive damage. Today is interesting. We'll see how it goes. We can always fix it. Okay, so when the haul is not good, I have to head over to the women's section. And so far, we found these at 10 bucks. They're tempting Prevos. 10 bucks full price. They go for about 20 to 25. And uh, it has damage, so we are going to leave it. So, I guess this is a duck. Pretty cool. And we made our way to the bedding, blankets. And the baby stuff. Let's see if we get lucky in here. Here we go, I found Rosie. She got a couple of things. Some good old vintage bathing suits have been coming in. And she's been picking them up. <laughs> Over here, this is what the car we got here. This vintage Vera Bradley fanny pack. Some fabric, the promise shirt. I gotta check out some of these board shorts, but we got a pair of chubby, so that'll help. And a two or three dollar pair of uh, Ralph Lauren plaid shorts. That would be okay. So I was done with the Goodwill and then I came to the last find which was an Epson Perfection V370 and it seemed like it was brand new but I believe it was open before so I had a pass on it it would have been a solid 125. Okay so today we were able to still find stuff no home run hitters here but still some pretty cool things. Let's just go ahead and show you. Um, let me see, we're gonna dig in in just a bit. Wait, oh, my tripod. Oh. Okay. oh, there we go. Hey, check it out. We got everything on the table, what we picked up today. Pretty awesome. And guess what? Most of that table is Rosie's pickup. So let's just say she's doing pretty well. She's already on her seventh sale and she's got offers coming in daily on Depop. We just need to get her on eBay and we're gonna be doing pretty good. So let's go ahead and see what I picked up and then we'll see what she picked up so you can go ahead and check out her Depop and her future eBay. So today, went to three stores, Salvation Army, Texas Thrift, and a Goodwill. And they did okay today. It wasn't amazing, but if you find something, it's still a good day. Okay, so we picked up this vintage uh, little t-shirt, Endangered Youngins, 1996. It's a 3XL, very cool shirt. It was a couple bucks, why not, right? Can't leave these type of things behind. It's very hard to when they're at a decent price. Over here, this was an awesome pickup. Little uh, mom and pop shop that we like. Vintage, what is this? Emily West, New York, made in USA, I believe. And oh, assembled in Colombia. But this is an awesome, awesome little toddler dress. It is a uh, velour or velvet here with this nice, what's this poinsettia pattern. This thing should do pretty good. We got it for $3. It should do about 30 bucks. Over here, we got some hats. Nice Atlanta 1996 little kid's hat. Uh, this one should do pretty okay. It was $3, so why not, right? And then we have this Tar Heels New Era hat. This one seems to be a little older, and uh, it was $2 with 25% off. So uh, we gave it a shot here. We'll see what it does. Picked up some Chubbies because they're going to be doing good through summertime, and uh, they were $5.99, size medium. This one's very interesting. <laughs> we have a uh, 2001 Delta tag. Uh, pro weight and it's an F terrorism shirt from yeah 2001 down there. We got this early 2000s Nike shirt, 
pretty simple, but it should do okay. We got this brand new with tags, a uh, Orioles uh, youth shirt, uh, jersey, and uh, it was pretty cheap, so we'll get about 25 for that. We got this Foot Joy vest. I uh, only got it because it was new with tags. It does have this front embroidery. Hopefully it does well, at least 20 plus. We got it for about $6 or less. And then we got the Prana shirt that we had in the video. That one was half off. Should get a good 20 bucks for that. We picked up some Monster High dolls with some uh, accessories. And we got some vintage Barbie clothes to pair up with another pack of vintage Barbie that we have. We'll see how that stuff does. I'll throw up some comps, of course. We got this vintage Elmo from 1996. Great condition. We'll see how he does. Easy $15, but uh, might have uh, some other plushies to pair him up with. And then we got this for a future project right here. To be continued. We got some vintage fabric. This one's pretty awesome. Some seahorse fabric. $2. Doesn't hurt. Here's a little starfish plushie. That's a personal. I like to collect these. And then uh, we have this Osprey bag. Got it for only $150. And uh, this is a flea market bag because, uh, yeah, the strap is busted here. And so we can't really sell that. Definitely a flea market bag. Nice and comfy. Light. Let's get into Rosie's pickups. And, uh, yeah, she likes to pick up some, what is this, like a little tank top type of thing. Sleepwear type of stuff. Lingerie. She likes vintage stuff. We're picking up some vintage bathing suits right now. This is a personal. Got this early 2000s Vera Bradley. That's definitely going to be cool to be carrying around the estate sales and the garage sales, all that. The bins. Yeah, the bins, the rags. And uh, we got this mud bucket hat. And we got this vintage camo, which has been doing pretty good for her. That's a pair of pants there. We got a camo George Strait hat. This awesome little Under Armour hat, kind of that grunge look. And uh, these are all in good condition, of course. This is kind of like, what is this, a boho type of... Uh, I don't know, what's this? Boho type of long sleeve. And over here, we got a velour skirt. She loves these type of things. And uh, it's a nice chocolate color. Uh, this right here, if we take a look at it, it looks like one of those dresses that girls pull up right here. But it's got pant holes, so it's actually a very baggy pair of pants. So uh, we'll see what those do. We also picked up this. It's a denim Winnie the Pooh early 2000s bag, kind of like a diaper bag or just a... <laughs> Just a carry-on type of bag for six bucks. A little pricey, but it's still pretty cool. We didn't want to leave it behind. Got some vintage shorts with a beautiful pattern. Now we got this vintage bathing suit. Let's see, Catalina, a brand to look out for. Very nice, very interesting. That should do pretty good. And then another little vintage bathing suit right there. Pretty, pretty sweet. So y'all, what do you think of this haul? It was a decent day. After taking a week off, I think we still did pretty okay. We didn't spend too, too much. I think we did under 130 bucks with everything. Uh, probably under 100 bucks. I, I need to check the calculations, but uh, it was a lot of fun, definitely. Getting back in the thrift store, but a little disappointing. But you can't give up and you gotta stay motivated. We have a lot of inventory, as I said. So this is just a lot of extra stuff that we picked up just to go out there. Cause, Cause we don't like missing out and uh, we don't like feeling that FOMO, you know, Missing out on our opportunities is no fun. Hope you guys enjoyed these pickups and this video. Uh, we have a lot of other videos such as rag house videos. We have garage sale videos, flea market pickups. We love picking up a lot of items. Right now our inventory is very full, so we got to keep up with that. But we're still trying to put these videos out because it's a lot of fun. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed. And uh, we're definitely going to be getting into another rag house pretty soon. And we're going to be getting a bulk buy coming soon as well. Um, we're going to be buying a, a pallet of jeans, I believe. And then also possibly shirts. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Future videos to come. And if you give this video a thumbs up, it does go a long way. It shows other people that enjoy this type of content. And uh, don't forget to subscribe because there's a lot of fun content coming soon. Once we get to 500 subscribers, we will be doing a giveaway. And uh, yeah, that'll be fun. Yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. And <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, y'all. So hopefully you enjoy. <laughs> I enjoyed. Go, ready? Go.